All right, guys, welcome into the channel. We are doing something a little bit different. That's why this is a Saturday release video, because usually I don't release anything on the weekends because everyone's busy on the weekends, so the videos don't perform as well, blah, 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 YouTube, logistics, and shit. Um, but I just don't have room during the week to put this in, so that's what we're going to do right now. Um, we're going to watch, and I think I want to, depending on how this does, I'm going to do all three members, and if you guys want... If you want to make this a thing, I, I get really geeked out over musical shit, gear, guitars, drum, like the whole thing. So if you guys want to start doing every once in a while, not really a music reaction, but like music shit reaction, instruments, gear that people use, all that stuff. Let me know in the comments, because if you want, I'm totally down. But today we're going to watch Danny from The Warning, her gear run through and see what she's using. I'm assuming guitars, amps. We'll see how deep they get into this. And uh, we're going to check it out, man. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this isn't something stupid because I love this shit. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's kind of an off thing that we haven't done yet. So we'll see how it goes. But as always, if you do, make sure you smash the like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store, comment down below what other band or person or whatever you want to do this with and we'll see what we can do but let's just jump in baby let's go all right let's see what she's got curious actually if i'm gonna guess she's Everybody using oh God. if i'm gonna guess we're gonna do this real quick because she is tiny and I think she is even smaller than her youngest sister, Ale. I think she is going to be using like light strings. Light strings and like very big output to compensate. That's my guess. Everybody, I'm Danny from The Warning. I'm the guitar player and singer of the band. We're super excited to be headed out on tour, promoting our newest single, which is called More. Go ahead and listen to it. And Fantastic today, song. I'm going to be taking you through one of my guitars. Well, a lot of them. But first, this amazing PRS guitar. She's my baby. This. Okay, real quick. This doesn't pertain to her. So don't get me wrong. There is a stigma that goes with PRS guitars. There is a, if you have a PRS guitar, you are a prissy, daddy bought this for me, and I know how to play a half of a song, or not even, but it's my wall piece. That's the stigma. That's not what this is, clearly. Okay. It's just funny, because, like, I know some guys. Well, not anymore, but, like, back... In like high school days, I'm like, yeah, I go to PRS. I'm like, okay, this is gonna go good. <laughs> this is a custom 2408 um, guitar. She was my first PRS guitar, and I I I love those inlays a lot. I I fucking hate flag inlays, which is ironic because the guitar right, man, that one has the, the I despise them, and dots are boring. Like I fucking. <laughs> I don't know. One of my other guitars has just like lines and shit. I don't know. I, I like nice inlays. Completely as stupid as that is. Her, uh, during that, the pandemic. The coloring is like sick. I was kind of like in this like dating uh, sense in guitars. I was really trying to find out where I was the most comfortable. And I found it right here with this beautiful This baby. guitar strap is fucking everywhere. fantastic too. Uh, she's been with me through a lot of tours. Um, and this is like my main go to guitar which is super cool because if you see here we have this is like the cool thing about the custom 2408 we have the split coils which you can have different combinations yeah. of pickups between all the different settings we have this double switch here. yeah so one turns one on off one turns the other on off where you could have half and half that makes sense and then volume tone kill switch I don't know what the fuck that is yet. I'm sure she's going to tell us. Here. And I did a little bit of modification. This is really new, but look at this. If I click on this switch, we get some LED lights. 
I swear to God, I haven't seen this before. Um, that's actually sick. I, you know what? Not even for playing shows. I would love this for at night, especially back in like high school and like college days, where you, like you don't feel like sitting at one o'clock in the morning with your lights on in your room, but you want to play or practice, especially on electric because you could just have the amp off and you just play quiet, right? But you can't see shit on your fretboard, especially when you're learning like solo stuff, not riff shit or rhythm stuff. That, I wonder how they did that. They must have, you know what they must have done is like, ran a LED strip under, they had to have like dremeled this out and ran a strip and then either probably wood filled it back in. I don't know. I'd be really interested to see how they did this because they definitely had to like run it through the body somehow but I don't know how you do that without fucking up the integrity I don't know that's sick it's in here for when everything goes dark I will not lose my way it's, it's very very cool you know even though we're a super rock and roll band most of my uh, the tuning so oh uh, dude I'm pausing a lot and some of you are gonna fucking hate it but the inlays have like a green fucking what would you call that? I don't even know what to call that, but it's really cool. All right. The songs are in e standard. <laughs> I promise I'll let her talk uh, now. I usually go all the way in tone, all the way in volume, because I'm the only guitar on stage, so I want to be as loud as, that I, makes and a as, lot of as sense. possible. Also with the bridge pickups. And here, I used to, like, I really like to use both my humbuckers to, like, the the most I can, right? I have some parts with cleans that I will go up here, uh but usually i just leave it like that i like to play that with that more around in the studio but for live purposes that's usually where i just like go all out <laughs> for this okay real quick that makes sense if you especially because they're a three piece you want that that fucking just in your face sound for cleans if she had them both on it would get very washy because it's too much output for cleans it gets very wishy-washy and hard to like it just gets it wishy-washy is the best way to put it uh, <laughs> strings i use 1046 these are uh the audio strings nx oh nyxl nyxl um, yeah they're thin and yeah they're thinner strings because i have a, a tiny hand but it's all good they rock just as hard so yeah those are the strings that i use they're very so small actually I really hope I don't cry when I tell you the story about this guitar. I know this so guitar. This is, this is the Lizzie. Core that was gifted to me last year by one of my idols, Lissy Hale. Um, it's an incredible story because I was waiting for a guitar change from my guitar tech mid-show. And then I realized that he comes to take my guitar, but he doesn't give me anything back. And I was just like, oh my God, what's happening? And then before I knew it, Lizzie Hill comes running on stage with this guitar and just like hands it to me. I was like, you're kidding. I thought she was lending me one of her guitars because it looks like really, really similar. But then after the show, I was just like, I couldn't believe it. And she told me like, that is for you. And it was specifically made. That's so cool. Uh, with the things that you like, your strings. Uh, this pickups, which yes, I love, and honestly, I still can't believe it. I take it everywhere with me. I want an explorer. I don't it. have like, an explorer. It's for you, please rock as hard as you can with it, and that's what I plan to do. I, I have use... before she keeps going. I have damn near every body shape guitar. I went through a period of just going to the local local guitar shop and going, "Yo, Dave, what do you got?" And he would just be like, oh, who? And I'd be like, here, money. Like, the running joke was when I walked in the door, I'd be like, hi, Dave. And he'd be like, hi, money. Right? I have a lot of shit. But um, rest in peace, by the way. Love that guy. I don't have an explorer, though. I always wanted a snake bite. Hetfield's explorer shape is like a snake. It's an explorer, just a little more sexy. But this story is really cool. Because if you watch the interview with Lizzie, she said something along I think it was when they were early on I think they were on tour with Seether and somebody from Seether did the almost exact same thing to Lizzie so she did that and, like the torch gets passed kind of thing 
Fucking love that. This is a guitar very much the same as I use my PRS guitar. The only difference in this is that I had to like get used to this size of it. The first the first day I played it, I already nicked it. Oh my god, it has some battle scars. I'm not used to the dimensions, but I love it. <laughs> it's like the size <laughs> right. of her. This one has a very similar story to the Explorer, which is crazy to think about. I just got this last month uh, from the one and only Matt Bellamy from Muse. They have been my idols since I could remember. So, and we were talking about guitars, and at one point he just goes like, what's your favorite color? And I was just like, I panicked, I just said yellow. <laughs> I was just like, but what kind of yellow? It's like mustard yellow. Before I knew it, I have a one-of-a-kind Manson, Manson so, mustard yellow guitar. It's I love Manson guitars for the fact that in most guitars, this is a very common body shape, but if you look, it's not just out and flat. They give you like a 45 degree edge around the whole thing, which just adds a sexy body line to it that a lot of guitar manufacturers, it just comes even like down here. It just comes down to the edge and down. Like as you come up, it kind of gives you more of a curvature. Just adds that little bit of it's so pretty. The only one that exists. I like the yellow color. too. I'd play the fuck uh, out of that. But the model is an Onyx uh, six because of the six strings. It's fairly new in the Manson world. I'm just trying it out. I'm testing it out uh, live to see what are the songs, what are the tunings that I can use on it, and overall, I'm still getting used to it. But it's gonna be my new best friend. I know it. We're gonna have great times together. And I also love the inverted headstock here. It's just like ooh. Yeah. Nice. It's a Jackson thing, so, too. Overall, really, really love this guitar, and I can't wait to play it more. This is the pick that I use. It's a big stubby Whoa. from Dunlop. And it's very <laughs> funny. People <laughs> usually, this is usually a jazz pickup, but I love how the grip wow. feels on it. And honestly, this is was made for me. Uh, even though the sound could be a little bit um, clunky, harder with other picks, I really like this one because I feel like at the end of the day, the more comfortable you are with what you're playing, the 100%. I don't understand how she guitar solos with that, though, because that is like holding a lead brick in your fingers. I, I mean, some people love that shit. I play an 88. This is like a fucking two. So... You'd have to go look it up because I don't know the fucking actual specific shit because I'm not like a pick connoisseur, but I know I've gone through enough picks. I love my little baby turtles. Where the hell do I have one? Oh, there's one laying around here somewhere. Yeah, of course not where it's supposed to be though, right? Um, I'm a point eighty eight almost always. That is like a legitimate two mil pickup. That fucker is thick. I can't play that. Like, I've tried to play that, and it's just so fucking. It's just. Oh, oh. But she's right. Whatever works for you, man. That's sick. I know people who love playing like half mils, like little thin things that bend as soon as they hit the string. I. Ugh. Yeah, us guitar players are kind of um, picky. Welcome to my battle station. Oh, this I want is that. A Kemper Profiler pedal board, uh, which <sighs> I control every single song that I have on here. I have all the different titles of all of our songs. Oh, that let me find our new sick. single. Wait, there it is. More. What I love about this, it Bro. doesn't sound digital. Oh my god, I would love that, man. You just put your set list into the thing and it switches right to. The tone you want for that song Fuck. that's cheating oh at all i've had different types of pedal boys throughout the years but i love the kemper because it's very very uh organic sounding uh i'm not gonna lie to build this beauty took me a while the cool thing about the amps and cabinets that i'm using is that they have been profiled uh and those are david bendit's amplifiers and the ones that we use to record our latest album because he was our producer 
And I love That's that cool. I can use the exact sound that I had for the recording and give a new life for the live version. That's so cool. that is absolutely amazing to me. I usually have four different settings. We have the clean one, I go to my main one, and my main one are the chunky ones. That's are the, the things I use to do my palm mute, so they're a little less uh, behind in game so that they don't feed back a lot. Yeah, they don't and wash I have, around. Like my big you just get a lot of chug. Uh, sound, which usually I add a harmonizer to it, which I, I'm oh, only cool. the only guitar on stage, so I like to have a low octave as well, so I can just kind of. That's very super smart big, and that's for my her. One. I usually have a bridge one, which has a little bit more delay and reverb on it, so that it kind of like breathes a little bit more, and that's usually all that I do in basically each song. I actually have some songs that I love to play with the expression pedal and just going an octave higher. So I would just like play a note and go, mm, 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 mm. and in solos, that's really, really cool. I don't use a lot of whammy in general for solos. It's just not uh, my thing, but here is where I use it. I do not have a guitar plugged in. I just realized that, so I can't show you, but in this one, <laughs> <laughs> I use the expression pedal a lot for that. Since I'm already using Orange an box. amp over here, I do not find the necessity of having one here, but I love to hear my amp on stage. I love to feel the sound of the guitar. So I usually go through this pedal baby, which is just a preamp into the cab so I can have my sound here. And oh, that's the a pedal boogie. board goes straight into Damn. the front of house console and just blast it out through the PA. Thank you for watching Hold amp up. on stage. I love to. So I agree with all of everything she's saying. Orange Box is pretty solid shit. I haven't seen a lot of it in a long time. This is a boogie cab. Mesa Boogie. These were huge when I was playing a lot back in the day, man. These and the PBs were really, and the Marshalls were really, really huge. When I was in high school is when the 6505 PB head came out. Oh, what I would have done for one of them, man. Eventually, I got one. But, like, back in high school, I was ready to give my left nut for a fucking 6505 plus. Which is totally unnecessary if you're not playing live. It's, like, stupid. But when you're a kid, you just want the biggest and baddest shit, right? My sound here. <laughs> and the pedal board goes straight into the front of house console and just blasts it out through the PA. Yep. Thank you for watching, everybody. You can watch our content on The Warning Rock Band on Instagram. We're The Warning on Facebook and everywhere else. So thank you so much and keep on rocking. Fuck yeah. Love that, man. That's so sick. Uh, so that was kind of cool. What'd you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I I like geeking out over shit like this. So I'm down to do more of these. If you guys are, you just got to let me know in the comments. We'll see how the video does. And hopefully we can do uh, Pow and, and Ale's also. And then maybe even get into more bands. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I thought this was fun. I don't know. Like maybe you guys don't give a shit what I think. But <laughs> I thought it was fun. So if you want to do more, let me know. I'm down. I like seeing the behind the scenes stuff. Maybe we'll do some of that, like making of videos. I don't know. I'm just trying to expand a little bit here. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you did, smash the like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store. And I'll catch you in the next one. As always, stay happy, stay healthy.